Mm. That tastes like two things. Heaven and instant diabetes. Oh my God. It's so good. And it's so fluffy. Rochester, Michigan, you're up next. Now check this out guys, Rochester, Michigan was started right here, literally right here in 1895 at this location and it was a well that was dug so people could have water and that was it. And it's grown to all of this, one of the greatest downtowns that Michigan has to offer. I can't wait to explore it and I can't wait to take you through a couple of the shops. We're going to have coffee, we're going to have breakfast, we're going to have lunch, we're going to do some activities and have dinner. But first, let's get a cup of coffee. One of my favorite places, Dessert Oasis. All right, so here we are inside Dessert Oasis, and you can clearly see why it's called Dessert Oasis. Not only does this place have dessert and amazing coffee, but it also has a stage right there behind us where every once in a while, three, four days a week, we'll, we'll see a guy with a guitar. It's a great hangout place, whether it's morning, noon, or evening. The ambiance, this is definitely my go-to place when I just have a laptop, I wanna throw some earbuds in, I wanna get a little bit of work done. Definitely my go-to. Now I also wanna mention two honorable mentions. First one is Naps, which we're actually gonna walk up to after this because frankly, they have amazing donuts. And if you know Rochester, you know Naps. And every time I show homes in Rochester, I always stop by Naps. Well, if it's early enough in the day and I catch it while they're open. Second one is Denton Coffee. So the Denton Coffee Company was started in 2012. And again, one of those things where whenever I'm on appointment in Rochester, I always pop through and grab a bag of their beans. They, their Guatemalan roast, especially their medium roast, I'm not a dark roast guy, but their medium roast is amazing. And amazing to work with, to, to, uh, to have at home in your own coffee maker. So definitely stop by Denton, stop by Dessert Oasis, and check out the donuts at Nats. So I've got my coffee. Got my coffee, Dessert Oasis. While we're on the way to see some amazing historic homes in Rochester, I do want to point out we are driving right by the Rochester Municipal Park, which has tennis courts, it has a duck pond. Not a lot of ducks out right now, but always good to feed the ducks. I mean, don't feed the ducks. There's a sign that says don't feed the ducks. We feed the ducks, I feed the ducks. And here we are, historic downtown Rochester. Love these houses, love the character, love the streets, love the trees. I would also love if you take this opportunity to smash that like button to help the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe. Right now the population of Rochester is just north of 13,000 as of the last census. In addition to that, as you can tell, a lot of the homes here in Rochester have been redone. So we do have some turn of the century homes, but we also have some homes that are, that are new and there's a lot of active construction going on as we speak. All right, we just got done looking at some fantastic downtown Rochester real estate. And I got a run in today, this morning early, but I did not eat breakfast. I'm completely famished and we are not actually stopping at the Chapman house, which is awesome and I would definitely recommend. But we are headed over to my favorite downtown Rochester breakfast spot, the Rochester Brunch House. One thing I love about this place is all of their food is fresh, not frozen, and organic. So it's a great place. You guys are gonna be in for a treat when you see what I'm ordering here. Let's get in there. I am beside myself with how good this food looks. So we ended up going with the cinnamon pancakes, the peanut butter and banana stuffed French toast, and frankly, I went with the huevos rancheros, which is not necessarily like the most amazing looking item on the menu, but it's definitely one of my savory favorites. All right, so we were about to dive into this amazing food, and the owner just brought over a couple of drinks. See, I ordered my typical black coffee, which is kind of hard to see. Can you get that, Carl? Yep, which is, again, it's just black coffee. Nothing great. And the owner is like, hey, we do some great drinks here. So they brought over a cappuccino, which I'm definitely going to have. This, this cup will be empty before we leave. And they also brought over one of their breakfast cocktails, which, again, looks amazing. I don't feel like this thing actually needed more sugar or maple syrup. 
Oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. Mmm. That tastes like two things. Heaven and instant diabetes. Oh my God. It's so good. And it's so fluffy. Monday, November 22nd, we're gonna swing right back out to downtown Rochester for the big light show, AKA Lanyap. And Lanyap means a little more, something a little extra. And that's what we're getting here with some great street vendors, some food trucks. They close off a couple of the side streets. We've got Santa, and of course, we've got all the lights of downtown Rochester. All right, I'm definitely busting at the seams for breakfast. And we're gonna go shopping, one of my favorite things to do. Here in downtown Rochester, there are over 30 independent, independent shops and stores, which are just a treat to walk through. First stop was going to be South Street. I love it because on the outside, it, they, it says that they have choice rubbish specifically, which that just gets me every time I walk by. But what I'm actually gonna do is start at the bike shop because unlike uh, some people here in Rochester, I am not a skateboarder. I know nothing about skateboards. Although State Street, which I would check out because they have great apparel and super comfy socks, was established in 2005 by local skateboarders here in Rochester. Just one of the local gems here in Rochester. A lot of people, even the local residents, don't know. I love to tell people about when they're moving into the area and we're helping them find their next home. But for now, I'm gonna stop by the truck shop because that's what I ride. I've heard they've got the new speed concept and I would really like to check that out. All right. Well, I have learned that like everything else, Bikes are in back order. So that new Speed Concept 7, that's a, or I'm sorry, the 8. It's a year out, a year out if you order it today. But definitely check out these guys here in downtown Rochester. They're gonna match you up with, with whatever the perfect bike is for yourself, your budget, your frame, all of it. Whenever I'm in Rochester, one, one of my go-to places to stop at because I always run out of this stuff is the Moon River Soap Company. I love their local made soaps, mostly because I have a little bit of a dry skin and this is just a fantastic, fantastic soap to use on it. Heading in. So they put together a quarterly magazine featuring all the events happening in and around downtown Rochester, the local businesses, everything. The support that this city gives to its local businesses, which are also major employers here in Rochester, second to none here in Michigan. All right guys, after a long morning of shopping, the Trek shop, the soap shop, and like 20 other amazing places here in downtown Rochester, I'm starving. So we're gonna order some food. Are you ready? Ready. All right, I'm definitely gonna get the Irish bacon box tea. I definitely want the Irish Trinity and I've heard that that Wagyu bacon cheeseburger is amazing, although it may or may not be like Irish so much. I've heard it's an amazing burger. So let's start with that. Oh, um, medium. Fries okay? What else you got? Crack fries, sweet potato fries, oh. onion rings, soup salad. Ooh, onion rings. Onion rings. All right, so O'Connor's is one of my favorite joints here in downtown Rochester. They have an authentic spin on an Irish pub. It's not like an American Irish pub. It's like a real Irish pub with box tees and everything. They've got stained glass windows, the decor, the feel. It's like being in Dublin, Ireland. Actually, I don't know that because I've never been to Dublin or Ireland. Either one, really. But I would think that if I were there right now, this is what it would feel like. Now that we've got lunch on order and waiting for it to come out, I want to talk about a couple of the honorable mentions, just a few more restaurants that are my go-tos for lunch here in downtown Rochester. And number one on my list is Cruz Amur. Now, the reason why it's number one may not be what you think. It's not just because he was lost at sea, which is very sad, in 1993, Chuck Muir, during Hurricane Andrew. It's because he also went to my high school, U of G Jesuit, and he was an active donor through the 80s and the 90s and really helped out with a new science wing that was built about 25 years ago. Now, when you're at Cruz Amir's, my go-to is the apricot salmon salad, which has dried apricots, dried cherries, among other things, and as well, their chicken tortellini. Now, if you're in Rochester Hills and you go out to the one on Paint Creek, I definitely recommend their pizzas. But I have a feeling we're gonna, we're gonna see a little bit more Cruz Amir maybe in another city in a, in a very short time right here. Next up, La Pumas has an amazing array of hot dogs. 
I mean, you gotta check these guys out. Oh my God, pickles and hot dogs, look, the toppings. And if you're looking for a slightly healthier option, definitely head south to Chomp, which is towards the south end of Main Street. Now my go-to there is the Donovan, which is a turkey apple brie sandwich. Trust me guys, it, it is delightful. In addition to that, they've got some fillies, they've got homemade soups, they've got an array of salads, they've got a great salmon on the menu, all healthy, organic sourced, and they source it locally as much as possible. Guys, let's have lunch. We've got the burger, the trinity, and the candied bacon box tea, which I'm gonna get to you last, because I have a feeling that's gonna be my favorite. But it is a Wagyu beef burger, so that also might be my favorite. And I did go for the healthy option of a side of vegetables, in the form of onion rings. Okay, oh yeah, look at that thing. Candied bacon on the inside. You getting that? You got that? Okay. It's really good. And it's really hot. That was hotter than I thought it was gonna be. But it's really good. Manager was not wrong. That candy bacon is like legit. I'm skipping ahead. Probably should not, but I'm gonna do it. And boxy, by the way, guys, it is basically a potato pancake that's folded or, or, you know, boxy, box, box, right? Around something like a corned beef or a bacon or a chicken or a steak or a stew, something. Mmm, that's a good box too. I actually had one the other day, and it was okay. This is a real one. So right. last but not least, this Trinity deal with uh, shepherd pie and other things that I don't even remember. Yes, yes. I should have gotten a full order of the shepherd's pie, 100%. So the Trinity, which is also very good because you get to try several things. Highly recommend going for the full order of the shepherd's pie. Now we're down for an activity. I invited a couple of friends to come out with us this time. We're gonna shoot some pool, we're gonna see a live band right here at the Rochester Mills Brewing Company. The history of this is actually really nice. It was the Western Knitting Mills, which dates all the way back to 1844, right? So back during that time, they made gloves and scarves and they were, the actual, they were actually one of the biggest employers here in Rochester, Michigan, right there at the start. Through time, they manufactured clothing straight up to and provided clothing for our troops in World War I. Now, it's a, it's a mixture of offices, it's the Rochester Mills Brewing Company, and they also feature seasonal beers, which, if you're watching during fall, definitely get the pumpkin brew. Amazing, I'm having one. Shoot some pool, see some live music, have some great food, but it's a great way to just get with friends, have a nice night out. Started in 2013, Bean Nectar has quickly become a favorite for bars to carry because of its mead heavier substance, which is also a little bit sweet and a little bit honeyish um, that you just can't get from a traditional brew. Here we are at the Meeting House in downtown Rochester, right on Main Street. This is one of my favorite dinner spots. It's a great date night spot as well. It was opened in 2012 by owners Jason Mood and Christopher Johnson, and what they wanted to do is create a slightly upscale, it's not a five star, but maybe more of a, of a four or three and a half star dining experience. Something that was both affordable, featured American cuisine, and they also change out their dishes seasonally. Right now, we're gonna have one of their seasonal dishes, their wood plank cedar salmon, which, if you know me, I love a good piece of fish. Can't wait to get it. Now, while we're waiting for our food, we just put our order in, I'm gonna tell you about a couple of other places that I love to frequent here in downtown Rochester. First one being Bologna B Cuisina. It's a third generation, very traditional Italian restaurant. Um, my heart goes to that quite a bit because my grandmother worked in an Italian restaurant here in, in Detroit, Vince's, for just over 50 years where she made wonderful dishes, made wonderful spaghetti and pizzas and things like that. And it really reminds me of home and it really reminds me of the home cooking my grandmother used to make as I was growing up. Next up, we've got the Rochester Chop House. If you're looking for a steak and frankly, a good piece of fish as well, the Rochester Chop House is on the must stop by list has to be. They literally have the best steak in town. And last but definitely not least is the Rochester Bistro. Now again, American cuisine, slightly upscale, which is great. However, if you're looking for a great wine, that's the place to go. If you're a wine drinker, 
say no more. Just go there. Just go there. Trust me on it. Go there. Tell them Mike sent you. All right, food just arrived. We are gonna dive in. And yes, I 100% ordered dessert with my meal. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a big dessert guy. Cauliflower, let's give it a shot. So we went with the cauliflower, which visually is, is just awesome. Mm. I don't know where cauliflower came from recently on these menus, but it's a great idea, great idea. So the salmon they serve directly on a wood plank which I think they cooked, yep, they definitely cooked it on. You can tell. Oh, that's good. That's real good. And then I've got three kinds of ice cream here. I do not have a toasted marshmallow ice cream, but there is an apple cider ice cream. I'm gonna skip straight to that one because I know that's the one I'm gonna love the most. And I'm also lactose intolerant, so I can't have too much on the dairy side. So I'm definitely gonna go straight to the best of the dairy side. Oh yeah. Carl, you gotta dig into this. All right, friends, just like everything great, everything must also come to an end. And here we are at the end of our night at the Royal Park Hotel here in Rochester. It wouldn't be a video about Rochester if I didn't mention this wonderful hotel. Featuring 143 rooms, it's a four diamond AAA hotel. Great place to go whether you're coming in to visit from out of town, they have a travel local package, or travel like a local package, or if you're looking for a great place and you live here in town, just for a simple staycation. This is a fully featured amenity hotel, which includes bourbon and bonfire packages. It has a full service bar, full service restaurant. And if you're just looking to sit with a book, they actually have a library with a fireplace and a going fire most of the day. In the winter time, this place is decorated to the nines for Christmas, featuring a gingerbread house. And I can't wait to see what they're gonna do this year. I hear they've got a new attraction right there in the lobby. Great to pop in if you're a local, again, for dinner, a drink, or a staycation. Have a good night, friends. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Rochester. Next up, Rochester Hills. Hold tight for that video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video for the YouTube algorithm, algorithm. And if you're looking for a home, if you're, or if you need to sell a home here in Rochester, Rochester Hills, or the surrounding area, we would be honored to receive a call and help your family. 248-886-4450. Make it a great day.